Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to Sunless Skies. Welcome back. I did say last episode that we we're gonna go to Albion, so we're really going to Albion now. I know, I get distracted easily, but all the things that one has to do in this game, all the quests that still lurk out there, but yes, we're gonna go there second class. We have the hours for it. We have the um, bribe that we had to pay 500 uh, monies. Oh look, there's one of these again. These ones seem to be popping up constantly now. We found three now in a span of like an episode. Yeah, reduce the terror. This works well. Onwards. Don't crash into this. I know we have the navigator that crashes stuff, but come on. Let's not crash into this. Also, we bought this cool weapon. It's a level 2 of our normal weapon. And eventually, we're gonna replace this one as well. I still kind of like it because it packs a punch, you know? Uh, I can, I can, oh, I don't have the assaying, right. Correct, we do not have that thing. Which is unfortunate, but this ship can't have uh, both of those. I don't think the merchant ship could have both of these either. The mining and the assaying. And there's also the butchering, so... Yeah, there's, there's three of these. I wonder if the last big boy ship can have all three. That would be nice. Probably not, though. It would be kind of very, very OP. Okay, Port of Uh It's a quiet day. So I will buy the cheap fuel. Because why not? And let's go... Um, the Reclusive Carpenter. Okay, so you want a Legs of Kantankeri. Kantankeri, okay. You will get that eventually. One day I will remember that. Good. Port to port. Done. And now we're gonna go onwards. Uh, I will go around this way. Not through here. That place is not that nice. Please don't crash. Don't crash, I said. Okay. We didn't crash. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I don't wanna uh, uh, injure my boat too much. Before we go onwards. Oh, looks like there's another uh, homestead. Hello. Princess is delighted. I think we need to bring Princess somewhere. Supplies of bronze wood? No. We'll need your bronze wood, man. Actually, we do have some stuff that I should have sold. God damn it. New Winchester. Crap. Uh, well, that's okay. We're not going back. If we need to, we're gonna just jet some stuff. It's one bronze wood, yeah. I don't think we can uh, sell at Port Prospect. Oh, there's these guys. I need your legs, man. <laughs> Did you see that snipe? Woo! That was a double miss. I like uh, your legs. Good. Well, now we know. Next time we come through here, we have legs of Kantankeri. Kantankeri? Ah, oh, man. Okay, you do you. You do you, buddy. We got its legs. Uh, over here, we took some supplies at some point, but we did deliver them at some other points, so this is all good. I think we can gain a story, though, if we dock here for a second. It's gonna let us. I guess we need to be close to that, so, yeah, that's fine. Cuddle scum, you do you. We'll see you next time. Okay, I am going in there proper direction. There's also the the face of the rat over here, or whatever it is. The rat thing. Not something we care about right now. Besides, it can reduce our terror. But our terror is doing really well. I think I've been doing quite fine on reducing the terror so far. But, then again, this is the, I think, the most civilized out of the, all the areas. And, uh, yeah. We need to go to less civilized civilized places. There you go. Zero terror. I like it. I don't know why we worship the unknown rat, but uh, sure. Let's do that. Let's worship the unknown rat. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Dude, getting to level 20 is gonna take some real time, man. Like some real time and some real work. I mean, it's nice if your captain dies, a thing they get back at like the same level that you died. 
At least that was for my first captain that died. I know there's an achievement if you get to like seventh captain in the same lineage. Uh, <laughs> so I guess you just need to die a lot. Which probably isn't too hard in certain areas. Yeah, I hear you fighting. I don't want to get into the crossfire, so please don't take it on me. I'm just passing through, my friends. Just passing through. Yeah, you do you there. You do you. Okay, over here, uh, we're gonna buy... Wow, did you hear that noise? Damn. It's kind of cool. Uh, we're gonna buy all the supplies we can carry. I don't think I can sell the bronze wood, which is unfortunate. But oh well. I have fuel I think we're fine on. But supplies, yes, we're gonna need. Supplies we're gonna need. Alright, docking. Hello, I have arrived. I would like to have a port report before I continue onwards. And then I'm going to shops. And I would like three supplies. Ka-ching! I can't sell the bronze wood, which is unfortunate, but maybe you're gonna be able to sell it in the main hub of the next region. Who knows? I don't, but this is my first time going through this transit relay. I'm pretty sure I didn't get to do that uh, when I played this like in early access a year and a half ago. Pretty sure. Okay, uh, I would like to uh, present myself to the customs. There's nothing to declare. Go on. I uh, will return to my engine. And we're gonna travel to Albion second class. Boom. Okay, away! You deliver the barrels to the relays, our, uh, our looms, which clank and grind. They spin a jacket of fresh time in which your locomotive will make its journey. Enclosed in your engine's pocket of hours, is, it is hard to say how long the passage will take. Unseasoned hours tend to be melancholy and anxious. Your journey is likely to be wearing. The machinery grinds and stares, the steam vents, the sigils of edifice burn with a sullen fire. A force like a great hand seizes your engine. <clears throat> we gained some terror, but we're going through. Oh my god. This is even animated. Like that, huh? Oh wow. Holy shit, look at this. That's amazing. And our ship is gone. <coughs> wow, that's really nice. If you run out of uh, run out of boat supplies and crew, you will die. Yes, I am aware of that. You can eat your crew when you run out of supplies, and hopefully we're not gonna get to that. But if we do, oh, well, reach transit relay. We have reached it. All right, we are in Albion, and we know nothing about this place. All right! Wow! Look at this. This is like is this a city? Tuxedo point. Well, holy balls on a macaroni stick. This is cool. Uh, let's send the bat out just to see what they can find. If they can find like a port close by. Nothing to be found. Oh well. Out we go. Out we go. There's nothing to be found right here, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> it's uh, intense. You would expect that next to the reload point there might be a city or something. You know, just to welcome the new explorers. Mm, guess I thought wrong. And I don't know if you need the hours to get back through, probably. We do have the permit, so you're gonna probably have to be buying hours somewhere close by. Uh, you know what, just keep on going the same direction we've been going. Let's just keep on going. It's totally not ominous, this, this place. There's something venting out there. So many lights and stuff around here, you'd expect there would be a place where one could dock. Somewhere nearby. I guess I thought wrong. I'll send the bat out. Let's see what we can find. A port. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Just so we have a port. Dear God, the fatalistic signal man breathes as he takes in the extent of 
the work world. Yeah, I agree. This is pretty big. But the most important thing is there is a port. There is a port. Oh, this this seems more natural. Little knees. Hello, little knees. Where do you cash in? There you go. Let's see, what is this place? A new port captain, your crew crowds the window. Nine over here, apparently. Nine in this area. Okay, we found the first out of nine. The previous one was eleven. Uh, Brabazon Workworld. The big between. The officials of Brabazon never bothered to formally name this waypoint. Captain's dock here to pick up goods to, or deliver workers. It's not a place to linger because of the proximity to the accelerated time of the work world. All right. The first work world to be established in Albion. You can travel to Little Nice, join a tour of Brabazon work world, attempt to converse with an overseer. All right. What is this? Ooh. Okay, well. Let's um, join a tour of Brabazon work world. Oh, once you join, you will not be able to leave until the end. Uh, let's uh, converse with an overseer first, maybe. The overseer is folding his work cape up rather than hanging it. He places it in a storage be bench opposite the dock. He beams with when you approach him. Being promoted to gardener, I've been living and working in Little Nice from now. I have to think I was worn away from flirting with the donors. Okay. We got a story. Let's try out to little knees then. Take double doors. Okay. We can converse with the governor. Bring gossip to take tea with the governor. He'll let you keep what you can't consume. That's cool. Let's talk to the guy. We gained. We lost gossip and we got some candy of dry tea. That's cool. And uh, recline on a bench to lose our terror. Uh, we weren't here anyway. Now you can write a port report over here, that's beautiful. You can get a report on Brabus and Workworld from Little Knees. Ah, okay, so... Wait. Ah. Okay, so not from Little Knees. Yes, yes. Let's go back to bit between and let's see if we can do a port report here. Uh, doesn't seem to. So let's go to do the tour. We lost one savage secret. Okay. Receive a carriage clock. We have plenty of time. We can admire the rugs. Our first stop on the tour is Brabazon Rug Weaving Workshop. That seems terrible. Uh, I will smile the workers. Simple act of human warmth. Good. Uh, glass workers. Okay. The smog prevents much of the sun's heat from reaching Brabazon. Without factories such as these, Brabazon would freeze. Workers keep the factories alive, the factories heat the work world, and it becomes a pleasant place to live. Here, work enriches life. Uh, I'm not one of the donors. Declare you paid for the roof over your very heads. I'm not one of the donors. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie to these guys. The young lady blushes. So dangerous, so romantic. That sounds much more fun. Is it difficult? Perhaps my parents will buy me a locomotive. Pro probably not. We gain some gossip. Peer through the window of the, our refineries. Okay. Once the second and minutes and hours are extracted, they are seasoned. Taken from very high temperature to a very low one and back. After these, the tangled clumps, the color of the sky just before dawn or after dusk, are carted and wound onto spools in long filaments. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hurry after the tour. It's uh, half of our time. Oh boy. Rock breaking. Let's watch that. We equip our workers with safety gear just in case prolonged exertion in this air might prove unpleasant. As you can see, the regular exercise ensures they are strong and healthy. Many leave Brabazon with athletic inclinations and pursue fitness as a profession. I'm sure they do. Uh, on the third hand. <laughs> yeah. Half of the time. Yeah, let's please complete the tour. Okay, the carriage lock is silent. Okay, there we go, our request. There are unsavory individuals in Brabazon work world. They invasion? I don't know what that means. Invagal? Others to do their work so they might have the time to plot. They are 
Uh, fomenting unrest. He shakes his head. Uh, it won't do. It just makes the other workers unhappy. Next time, see if you can sneak away from the tour. I hear their leader is looking for outside assistance. Who is this? For once, time is on our side. They have so long to plan relative to us. If you hear anything piss, piss to me, pass it to me. Okay. Uh, I will accept with apparent delight. Hey, we gained some hours. Nice. Can I do a port report now? Oh god. Ah. Uh, I can't do port report here, which is unfortunate, so I'm not gonna do it. There's a clay conductor. Who are you, sir? A first officer. Again, a first officer. Uh, you know what? A sky story for you? I will do it. Wait, what? Yeah, let's do it. I will, um. Uh, Make him speak. Okay, we recruited him. Oh, it was three sky stories actually. Let's see. So six hearts, two iron. Two hearts, six mirrors. Uh, I think we are fine right now with the uh, princess. Okay, let's leave this place. Let's uh, let's leave this place and let's see if we can actually find more around here. We couldn't do a port to port here, which is unfortunate, but. Oh well. Well, maybe you're gonna find another place. That is the goal, to find more places. It's a nursery. I like the fact that these things might even have names. It seems deserted otherwise. Like, sure, these are all just puffing and huffing and doing their thing, but... Come on. Let's send the bat out. See what they can find. Uh, it's really nice when he never finds anything. This seems more uh, natural, not just the smog over here. But you never know, there also might be dangers in the natural. London sprawls across the heavens. It's tea shops and factories, the gardens and orphanage. It's Minister and Jin We have found London. Did we find London? Did we find London? Is this London? This looks like London, definitely. Oh, I like it. Now to find where there's a port in London. Bat, tell me you can find it, man. It's a maze over here. Bat? Oh yes, port to port area. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. It's gonna be a major port right here. I believe. I believe! So this is Witten Vinegar's Lumber Company over here. Huh, it's a small port. At least this one was used for port reports in the last one. We'll see if this is the same over here. <clears throat> uh, loading docks. Okay. Okay, I'm unwelcome over here, apparently. But they do have pretty much nothing. Well, that's great. Maybe nothing yet. Maybe something soon. Bat, go out there. Find us good stuff. Did you find something? Yeah, you did. But where? I don't see it. Huh. This The, the London port must be somewhere close, man. I believe. I believe. Just where? Wow. Is this the sun? Is this like the, the, the main thing? I think that might be the main the main sun area. That I think you can like fix. It's one of the main uh, quests or something like that. I really appreciate the throne of ours. Well, probably not. This is not the sun then. Bat, please go find us a, a thing in the sky. Hey, hey, let's go up there. Up there, my friends, up there. Yeah, this place is big. I like it. It feels emptier compared to Reach due to this being like a town. 
right? The whole place is a town. It's a London, pretty much. That's a huge area for just docking. So is this London, like, main area, or what is this? Yes, we have found London. Woohoo! Good job. St. Dominic Station. I like this. All right. Ooh, we can do this. Let's go. Let's de deliver the black box. Achievement unlocked. The black block. The black blocks delivered. Nice. The butler is pleased. Ah, our resident has arrived. Please bring him in. Everything has been prepared according to Captain Whitlock's instruction. As you maneuver the black box inside, you ask what those instructions were. She has arranged for Master Jacob's convalescence, convalescence with us. Understand the young gentleman has suffered from a prolonged illness, which has left him unable to speak and afflicted him with a delicate disposition. The affairs of the house have been organized in such a way as to never inconvenience him. He will require no visitors. An extensive library has been provided for his edification. Privacy is paramount. With the box in place, the butler produces a key from his pocket but waits for you to leave before using it. Thank you for your assistance, administrator. If Amelia were still with us, she would thank you. Good day. Leave the house without windows behind. The matter of Captain Whitlock's legacy finally discharged. Good. We have delivered that. 2000 XP. Really nice. One story. No longer possess that one savage secret. Amazing. That was actually a lot of XP right there. It's really good. Okay, um, you know what, we are going to finish the episode here. We have arrived at London, which is pretty much the main hub. For now, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. If you should like subscribe to see more Do Magic, and I will see you... Ooh, before I say next time, let's check this. Ooh, ooh, 6,000 for this bad boy. Let's go. Alright, I will see you next time. Cook her out.